Hello everyone. We're going to be doing a painting today that is of multiple swirls. These are the paints I'm using and I have mixed them at equal parts with Floetrol. And I've never used these paints before, so they're a new brand to me. And this one is Mint. They're Semco brand, they're from Spotlight. Now this one's Tiffany. And Turquoise. This one is Cyan. And because I felt like there was a really big jump um, from the turquoise to the cyan, I added equal parts of these two together to create a colour in between. And the last one is Dark Navy. This canvas is 12 inch by 24 inch and I thought it would be ideal for this style. Uh, it was inspired by Julie Cutts. She did a metallic pour in this style and I thought it was amazing. So I thought I would like to try that with my, you know, different shades of green blue to green. So I'm using this dark navy as the additional colour to the others as when you do the swirl um, it's like the contrast colour perhaps so that that's what you can see in the swirl to give it that effect. Okay, so also using this dark navy to coat the sides because when I do tilt it, I will be tilting like bottom of the screen to the top of the screen type scenario, not from left to right. doing this we'll just make sure that those sides are covered as the paint will run down the other edges Okay, so here I'm just finding the approximate center of the canvas and starting the swell techniques using the middle color. What I discovered, as you can see, that you can't see a lot of that dark navy in there. Now I'll change to the far end. Which I also got the same result of not really being able to see that navy. 
from the opposite end. Now this one you can't see the navy because I think because it is such a lighter colour. So now to just fill in the in-betweens. See that dark navy showed up nicely from that one. So perhaps that was, you know, a bad choice on my behalf. Perhaps a solid black would have been much more effective or maybe I didn't quite pour enough into the cuts. But now to give it a tilt and see what magic we can bring tonight. So just going back and forth. They're running nicely. Although I did feel like I perhaps I needed to over tilt to get those final edges because I didn't want to pick up any paint um, off the drip off to fill in the space because that would possibly affect um, the design that we're going for here. So that section I just put a bit, another bead of the black, what is it? Dark navy, oh my gosh, um, down that edge as that was where I held it while I tilted. So just making sure that that was all nicely coated. I'll give it a torch. There wasn't any silicon in it, but we do want to make sure that we've gotten out any bubbles. Get a piece of fluff in there. There we go. All right, so that really quite, um, uh, quite big tilting that I did. Um, there isn't actually that much paint left on the canvas so I don't have any concerns about uh, cracking or anything uh, sometimes if you leave too much paint on the canvas you can get the cracking um, but it shouldn't be a problem with this one at all The colours are so beautiful. Like, I'm really, really impressed with that. So let's have a closer look. Here we go. So that one was the cyan. You can barely see that 
Dark navy. That was the turquoisey blue colour. The original turquoise. You can see the dark navy around the edges. Uh, this is the Tiffany. You can see more of it there as we go into the lighter colours. And this one was the mint. Ideally, um, you should have been able to see in all the colours the amount that's in the mint. So, just something to work on for next time. So there it is. <laughs> it was, turns out that one of the pins fell out when I moved it to dry. So it kind of drooped a little bit in that corner and ran off a little. But that's okay. It could possibly be a beachy type type picture like to hang up so I'm not sure whether I'll just leave it as it's or whether there will potentially be some extra extra detail added to it but if you catch the lighting you can sort of see where parts of the swirl are that you can't actually see the colour of So I really enjoyed that and I'm going to do some more, but just with different colours. So thanks so much for being with me. I hope you enjoyed that. And whatever you do, take care and be fabulous. Thank you so much. See you soon.